So my next heartbreak walked into the office today. I just had breakfast and I want to go back to sleep. Our vehicle broke down in a very risky area. The rain was dropping on me inside car. And my door refused to open. Okay, I doesn't want to start. Give up. My forehead is shining. It's fine. You scatter, you're going to scatter. Bro, I'm scared. Mom, so I watched my next heartbreak walk into the office today and he looked so fine. Not in the conventional fine boy, beard gang, muzzled up, dark toned, tall man way. No. He's short. Not short short but not my type tall either. His beard is scarce but he's dark. When he came close to my table to get a form, I couldn't catch his scent. Which is a good thing because you know me, if he had an overpowering scent, your baby girl would have been overpowered and then I would have sniffed him and that would have been embarrassing. So the only thing that got me weak at the knees was his aura, that shy smile of his, that mischief in his eyes that he tried to hide when our eyes locked as if on cue. Sheesh! Why is he so shy? Well if he wasn't, I guess I wouldn't have considered him attractive. What's with me and these quiet type men? Maybe deep down I want to uncover them. My masculine energy goes over the top because I love the chase and I love the catch and I love when they get obsessed with me because they have never met a wild one like me. And I love the roller coaster ride I take them on. The type that shows are made of fire and ice, sugar and spice. Woo! Can't be only me that once I eat breakfast, I just want to go back to sleep. I slept for nearly 12 hours. And look at me. I just had breakfast and I want to go back to sleep. I am so sleepy. Thursday was the worst day of my life this year. I'm not even kidding. It was crazy. From the morning time, the vehicle that I took to work it was too tight. My legs hurt. I could not sleep, so I ended up having headache all through. Left the office around 2 p.m. to get back to the house i ended up reaching past five why because our vehicle broke down in a very risky non-secure area and then we spent an hour trying to get it fixed so that it would at least move to somewhere <laughs> another car dragged us with rope to another town by then it was already raining and this man's car was leaking the rain was dropping on me inside car go to this place we got another vehicle finally I got here around past five and I needed to get some things in the market. I walked under the trees like that. At that point, I did not care. I really did not care. And then came back home and my door refused to open. My key would not work. I needed to pee so bad for the carpenter. And he finally broke down the door. He could not even fix it because we did not even understand what was wrong with the door. Mom, I know you're done with me and my throws. Because we all know how this goes. I find a way to make him open up. He does. We become an item because for some reason I'm different from what he's used to. And he becomes a part of my routine. Speaks my love language. Acts of service, by the way. Shares my laughs in private and stolen looks in public. I think to myself, maybe this one would finally stay. Maybe this one won't leave. But he leaves. Not immediately though. First comes the busyness, then the unplanned sicknesses, on his end or by a family member, then the unreturned calls and air texts, 
Then comes responsibilities, the kind he can't get out of. But deep down, I know these are just excuses. Because he's too cautious to say the truth that I've gone head over heels and he can sense my dependence from a distance. And boom, we can't be together because we live in different worlds, as if we did not know that from the start. And after times and times again of nagging, I become numb and I succumb to the fact that another one has bitten the dust. <laughs> Then I wish, once again, that you were here with me, mum, so I can rest on your lap and cry my eyes out and ask you for the millionth time, why did daddy leave and set the precedence for men to keep leaving me? But you cannot give an answer. Or maybe you can turn in the ground and ask him. After all, you're both neighbors six feet under, aren't you? I went to the supermarket to try and get a couple of things here. Yeah? You know, grocery shopping for the moment. And I wasn't seeing the stuff that I, I did not see couscous. What is wrong with this? Your okay, kaka doesn't want to start. Give up. I was looking for normal spaghetti, I didn't get it, said this three months, so I just got two. Mm -hmm. I'm going heavy on spice now. Ooh, heavy on spice. Heavy on spice. I ate one of the noodles, that's the one I showed you guys. I was too hungry to even think of anything. It's garden egg season, which means it's quite affordable, so all this is 200 naira. Be happy with you. Don't scatter, he's going to scatter. <laughs> How we do it again? Please do not scatter. <laughs> if he doesn't want this time around, I know do. Bro, I'm scared. <gasps> he did. Oh my god, he did.